Hello, I'm Rachel. Hi, I'm Emma. And we are Climate Outreach. Climate Outreach exists to put people at the heart of addressing climate change, so we are all ready to meet the challenge of building a more sustainable, fairer world. We want to change the way all of us think and feel about the reality and impacts of climate change. We want to ensure everyone is part of the solution and that climate action is recognised as everyone's issue. We think that the climate story is, at its core, a story about people. How we think, how we feel, how we act. How we come together to tackle problems or are driven apart. How we make progress or resign ourselves to loss. And the climate story is changing, but we think we've got far more to do to keep on changing it. Think about the climate story for a moment and the climate figurehead of 10 years ago. Who do you picture? I picture Al Gore, a fantastic climate advocate, but someone who talked about facts and about science. He had a tendency to lecture us that we didn't care enough or that we weren't changing fast enough. Who's the figurehead now? I don't know about you, but I picture a young Swedish activist called Greta. And she talks a lot about what we can all do to help. The other huge shift that we have to make is from a story which says, well, the damage is done, to one that says, we all have a role in what happens next. All of our research tells us that simply telling people more facts however terrifying, doesn't alter our beliefs and our actions. This can be challenging for those working tirelessly to understand and address climate change. Seemingly, compelling evidence often fails to spark the desired action. At Climate Outreach, we know when we understand how people think and engage with the climate crisis, we can unlock action. Our research and experience shows us that when we engage people, we make huge strides forward. So at Climate Outreach, we believe that to change action, we need to change the story. We need public consent and enthusiasm. A low carbon future can't be done to people. Understanding and changing how people think and engage is essential. So when we think about engaging everyone in tackling climate change, we think there are three key things that you really, really need to think about. First of all, we need to think about who the messenger is. A lot of communication thinks a lot about what is the message? What are the words that I'm going to use? What am I trying to say? But actually who is talking is almost as important as what they are saying. Because for all of us as humans, as, as social beings, to embrace and act on a communication that we hear, we need to hear it from somebody that we trust or that we relate to. Before the words are even spoken, the simple matter of the person speaking them instantly signals a number of things to us. It signals, is this for me and people like me? Is this really worth listening to? And most importantly, am I likely to agree with it? We live in a time of waning trust in institutions and in experts. So it's really vital that we increase the number of people and the variety of people who feel that they can speak powerfully about climate change. Maybe that means you. Maybe it means you can speak more uh, about climate change. Maybe it means the other people in this room. Maybe it's national treasures, people like David Attenborough or celebrities like Prince William. Different messengers can help different people understand what climate change means for them. And to engage with everybody, we think we need to train, support and platform lots and lots more varied voices and messengers. And the next thing we know is connection is crucial. We need to elevate values and stories. Our core fundamental beliefs, our values, guide and motivate us, shaping our opinions and our actions. Communication connects when it reflects and amplifies these values, whether by accident or by design. 
Those communicating climate often seek to engage people based on the authority of the scientific process. So going back to those facts, our research points to a number of narratives that tap into much more commonly held values, such as our health and the health of nature, fairness, protecting the people and communities we love, our sense of autonomy, and passing on a good world to our children and future generations. By being intentional about the values we appeal to, we're able to connect and catalyze more widely. And the third thing, finally, we think we have to go beyond broadcasting and talking to really involve people in this process. We need to talk with people, not just to them. We need to interact and involve, not just inform, which is exactly what you're doing now. We think far more communication on climate needs to build in elements of conversation, including opportunities for people to share their thoughts, their feelings, their fears and their hopes with their peers, their friends, their families. We also need to design more mechanisms for people to help shape policy and to feel that that policy is being implemented. So citizens assembly, citizens juries, like the one you're participating in, have really succeeded in breaking out of that kind of traditional broadcast model of communication. They've created a space for dialogue between participants and experts, a forum for people to express their views and mechanisms for collective decision making. There was a brilliant Citizens Assembly held in Scotland a number of years ago, and the decisions and recommendations from that assembly have really helped in shaping Scotland's ongoing policy and public engagement around climate change. Scotland's recently strengthened Climate Change Act goes beyond thinking about emissions reduction targets, so back to that science and data again, and embeds what people's priorities were for taking climate action. Why do we need to care about climate? Well, we think it needs to think, do things like tackle inequality and promote fair work. And through a citizens assembly, that's now become part of the Scottish legislation. So by being a part of the fantastic process you're taking part in today, you're doing something amazing to help tackle climate change. You're normalising it as something that affects all of us, but that all of us have to have a role to play in addressing.